was it the second or the third first discussion you tonight? Tell us your great poem. It's my great poem. <laughs> um, so yeah, sorry, uh, sorry I'm late, but so this poem, uh, I was debating between either reading one of my own or uh, I just got an email from my friend, which we're allowed to have emails from friends. And um, he, he sent me this poem, and it really touched me, and so I wanted to read it with you. It's called Beast. <clears throat> I once saw a beast all tattered and torn, with veins made of thistle and a heart full of thorn, who wallowed in darkness and shadow of night, coaxed from the depth by a glimmer of light. When found by another, the beast was yet calm, for he spoke with much softness, a voice full of psalm. Come follow me, the words now spoken, for many are called, but few are chosen. The beast had been chosen, beckoned by name. The title of elder he wore without shame. Change was upon him, change he did not know. For the smallest of seeds, the stranger did so. As the beast strode behind, skin fell to the ground. A mighty change had been wrought beneath the celestial sound. The beast was now shaken, he was sore afraid. Peace be still, he whispered, and the beast obeyed. Skin left behind, now a garment he wore. The beast stood upright, a beast no more. For the garment was white, cleansed by another. One he now recognized, one he called brother. There were others that followed, beasts just the same. His words pierced their hearts, and the beasts were made tame. Love one another, by example he led, for they were his fathers, and his fathers he fed. A solemn assembly on the night of Passover, then on the, to the mount one prayer left to offer. All the night long to the Father he cried, droplets of blood I will wear with pride. Into the hands of the beast the brother was betrayed, a kiss on the cheek and the silver was paid. To his own people he'd come and they accepted him not. With crossed words and witnesses, false accusations were bopped. The soldiers reviled him. To his back they put stripes. The earth turned in shame while the sun hid its light. Mocking and taunting, thorns pressed to his head. Tormented and stricken, the brother he bled. Accused and convicted, he lay on the cross. Raised high on the hill, the gospel was lost. The elder stood silent. Not a word did he speak. The world had taken his brother, and the elder felt weak. As he watched the temple, as he watched the cross topple, a solemn charge pierced his heart. Take forth my gospel and all blessings impart. Through him he could conquer, in him he would be strong. The elder feared no longer, for the gospel lived on. His brother had risen, the tomb could not contain. He conquered all opposition, glory and praise to his name. Our shepherd, our master, our Lord and our God. The elder would remember his heart planted on gospel sod. Find and exhort, teach and testify. His two years would be short, but the call came from on high. The elder went forth with power and pride deep inside. For the beast was now vanquished, and Christ was alive. Thank you.